welcome back to KTV News. I'm Julia. And I'm Noah. We begin with great news for several winter sports teams. Good luck to the gymnastics team as they compete at state championships tomorrow and Friday at Sammamish High School. Students with ASB cards get discounted tickets. Then, on Saturday, pack the stands here at L-Dub to cheer on the girls basketball team in the opening round of the state championships. They'll take on Stanwood High School at 8 p.m. And again, students with ASB cards get discounted tickets. Starting today, buy your seat on a spirit bus to next Thursday's Girls Basketball State Championship Tournament game. Pick a permission slip at the main office or the attendance office. Turn in your completed slip plus $40 to the bookkeeper before or after school or at lunch. There's only a limited number of seats, so don't wait. Students who ride the bus to the game will be excused from class, as this counts as a field trip. But if you're not riding the bus and still planning to go to the game, your parent or guardian must call the attendance office to excuse you. Let's pack the stands at the Tacoma Dome next week to cheer on the Kangs girls basketball team. Congratulations to the boys swim and dive team who put on a strong showing at state. Matthew Lee set two school records in the 50 free and 100 free. And diver Joey Moore finished fifth place overall. Elda placed in all three relays in finals and was one of the only six teams at the meet to score points in eight of 12 events in the finals. Congratulations to our whole state team. Boston Borg, Carr Chellis, Max Hammer, Matthew Lee, Isaiah Lim, Joe Moore, Trey Stone, and Dixon Tan. Applications to be an ASB officer for next year were emailed out last week. If you are currently in 10th or 11th grade, Check for an email from Mr. Grundle with details. Applications are due by this Friday. AP exam registration window closes March 3rd after B lunch. Make payments in person with the cashier before school and during lunches. Online payments are not available. Questions? Contact Mr. Joss. Do you want to visit the Canary Islands in the summer of 2024? Come to an informational meeting on Monday, February 27th in room 261. This travel experience is not affiliated with Lake Washington High School. Use this QR code to get more information. If you have questions and can't make it to the meeting, contact Mr. Palmer, Ms. Ze Ms. Wilson, or Ms. Seidel. Students, and especially seniors, make sure to complete your Zello lessons as part of your high school and beyond plan, which is a graduation requirement. You can log into Zello using the Class Link app. Seniors, be sure to be done by April 10th. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Phil or Mrs. Campbell in counseling. Do you have a way with words? Check out this year's Poetry Slam. Meet other talented students interested in poetry and the spoken word. Mr. Terich will also take the mic and share a poem or two. Poetry Slam takes place on Tuesday, March 7th in the LW Theater. Email Mr. Terich with any questions. Congratulations to Ellie Lenaham and Kang TV's Mira Hempe, who have all been selected for the All Northwest Mixed Choir, one of the highest achievements available to high school choir students. They competed against students from Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Alaska, Montana, and Wyoming. Congratulations also go out to the following choir participants in the North Lake District Solo and Ensemble Competition. Charlotte Underwood, Ellie Lenahan, Lexi Root, and Gwyneth von Marksfeld Fury, who rep l -Dub beautifully. Gwyneth and Lexi received the highest marks, with Gwyneth, Gwyneth being named first alternate and Lexi being named third alternate for the upcoming state competition in April. Now, are you interested in taking yoga during root time? Email Ms. Lewinsky for more information, as well as the forms you need to fill out in order to take part. The spring sports season is now underway, with tryouts or games next week for fast pitch softball, boys soccer, girls tennis, girls golf, girls badminton, and track and field. Let's meet some of the coaches. Um, what sport do you coach? So I'm the head coach of the track and field team. Awesome. And how long have you been coaching? This will be my third year coaching and first year as a head coach. Cool, yeah. awesome. Um, what do you love most about coaching the sport? So for me, track is all about improving on skills and I just love that in track there's a measurable mark that you're trying to beat and then you can tell you know when you've improved on that skill because you've beaten your previous mark. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Um, what's your favorite highlight from the past season? 
So last year we actually ended up winning uh, Kinko boys and girls. So I think that was, uh, I mean, it was awesome and I'd love to get a repeat there. That's super cool. Um, what should students know before trying out? So with track, there's actually no tryouts. If you sign up, you have a spot on the team. So I think that's something to definitely note. Sweet. Um, and is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, you know, I think that we have a great staff of coaches and really anybody's welcome on the team. And, you know, if you want to come out, learn some new skills, improve on some skills, um, you're welcome and we'd love to have you. You actually have a link to Kang News. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, it's actually um, kind of funny. My, my junior and senior year, I did the sports here um, with a few of my friends. So, um, you know, alumni and uh, have history with the sports and also Kang News. So. Uh, great to be back. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. All right. Hi, my name is Noah, and I'm here with Coach Adamic, also known as Mr. Adamic. Perfect. And which sports do you teach or coach? Uh, so I coach two sports. Um, my first sport that I started coaching here uh, was the C team head soccer coach for the boys. Um, and then shortly thereafter, I started coaching uh, football as well. So I, I coach two sports at the school. And how long have you been coaching for? Uh, this will be my third year coaching uh, both sports. Um, so I'm still somewhat new to the, to the game, but um, very, very excited about both sports, definitely. And speaking of being somewhat new to the game, you were originally a soccer player here at Held Up, if I'm correct. That is correct. So I, I, for those that don't know, I'm, I'm sure I've told this story many times, uh, but I used to go here, uh, so I'm a Kang, and I graduated in 2004. Um, I was a player, a uh, soccer player for the school. Uh, I played all four seasons. Uh, I played at the varsity level uh, for two years, um, and so uh, being back as, as a coach uh, to, to be the head of, of um, the soccer program is, is an absolute dream come true. So I'm, I'm very excited for this opportunity. That is really exciting. So what do you love most about coaching your sports, football and soccer? Um, I, I'm just, a, I'm passionate about sports, but I'm also passionate about teaching. Um, and so to be able to combine those two um, and, and develop relationships with, with uh, players on and off the field um, and in the classroom uh, is, is really a special opportunity that, I, that I'm extremely grateful for. That's really good. Yeah. And do you have any favorite highlights from past seasons? Uh, that's hard to point to one moment, um, but I, I feel like my first year coaching, it was um, during COVID, and so uh, overcoming those challenges was extremely difficult, but um, seeing the team rally and, and us pushing through that difficult time was, was something very special. Um, last year, I feel like uh, it was much more of a normal year. Uh, and we had an opportunity to really click and become the team that I, I envision us to be. Um, and so I want to take it uh, the next step further and then take this, this soccer program to, a, to another level. That's really good. Is there anything that students should know before uh, trying out for soccer this season? Um, just, I think uh, it starts with just having a passion for the game. Uh, if you love soccer, I, I encourage everyone to try out. Um, a couple things, it is, it's definitely a commitment, so be ready to, to get to work and, and get better every day. Um, a couple logistical pieces, uh, if you are trying out, please make sure um, to have your stuff submitted in final forms. Uh, the first day of tryouts is Monday the 27th, so uh, please make sure that your, your physical is up to date, uh, any unpaid fines uh, are, are addressed, um, and signatures and all that stuff. Um, please make sure that that's in before, before Monday. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? No, I'm just beyond excited for this opportunity to, to be the head of the program, like I said, and um, take it to another level. Um, and um, I'm just really looking forward to, to Monday when we can finally uh, get out on the field. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for coming in and taking the time. Thank you for having me. That's it for this week's Kang TV News. Thanks for watching. I'm Julia. And I'm Noah. Have a great rest of the day and go, go Kangs! Kangs! <laughs> yes.